Well, hello, welcome to Easy Peasy Banjo Lesson number 8. And I'm only doing 10. There's technically 11. It will be 11 because I have Easy Peasy Banjo Lesson Ground Zero where you learn to tune and things like that. So in Lesson 8, we're going to learn to use the C chord progression without changing the tuning in the, of our instrument. And I'm using my mountain banjo for this. Now normally, uh, when a banjo player wants to play in the key of C, he will put a capo at the fifth fret and get the C um, and then play everything the same, which, you know, we've learned to do the G progressions and the barring of the finger and all of that. But it's, it's helpful if you learn to use a C chord progression at times. Drone string sounds pretty good with it, so that's the good news. If you can learn to use a C progression, as we'll talk about next week, then you can actually play in other keys as you capo up the neck, and it gives you a lot more versatility. So we've learned the C chord already, um, as as before, and so we have the first finger, second string, first fret, um, second finger. Um, fourth string, second fret, and the third finger, third finger, first string, second fret. And there's your C chord. Now, the um, one chord I'll add to that, and when I get ready to do the song, we'll actually be doing Amazing Grace in the key of C, which works better for me. Um, I add my fourth finger, third string, third fret and it gives me a C7 so that's a good chord to learn and because it will often lead into your F chord which we're going to learn now which is first finger second string first fret second finger second third string second fret third finger fourth string third fret and then your fourth finger, your pinky, first string, third fret. And if you need diagrams of those and you can't find them or you don't have a banjo book with diagrams, uh, feel free to message my channel with your email address and I'll send you one. And then uh, the other chord we're going to use is a G7. And we know that G is our open string and G7 is just you can use any finger. I tend to use my third finger. Um, first string, third fret. And then uh, the other one will be an A minor, which we have learned uh, in the past, but we'll go through it. And that's first finger, second string, first fret. Second finger, fourth string, second fret. Third finger, third string, second fret and your pinky, your fourth finger, first string, second fret. And those are all the chords we're going to use to play Amazing Grace in the key of C. And incidentally, those are most all the chords you're going to need uh, to play any song. And one other uh, chord we can use is our D7, which we're familiar with as an accidental that can lead into our G7. So um, you'll want to watch for that. And as always, I'll, the first uh, verse or two, I'll put up um, the, letter, the chord names uh, so you know when I'm switching. Thank you. 
two verses, and we'll just end with the very last verse, and um, just so you have something to practice with, and we'll talk more about using our C chord progression in different positions next week. That's a good thing to practice. I would encourage you to work with your C chord progression. Um, honestly, uh, you don't see a lot of banjo players um, using different chord progressions. They tend to stick with the open G, which is understandable. You can do so much with it, and I often do, but it's, it's nice for me uh, at different times when I'm playing in different settings with people to be able to use the C chord progression whether it's because I don't want to capo or because I want to capo and play, say, in the key of D or E, and, um, and, and it allows me that versatility. So we'll talk about that more next week. But practice those C chord progressions, and that will begin to set you apart in your banjo playing.